Hey everyone, the 1973 uncirculated Kenny Delf dollar has the lowest mintage from 1965 to 1976 for circulation strike issues. In 1973, the Philadelphia Mint coined over 64 million JFK half dollars without mint marks. According to Jaime Hernandez from PCJ, the came well struck and finding examples up to about MS65 condition is very easy. MS66 examples become much more difficult, but with enough searching one can be found in uncirculated rolls or mint sets. They are worth over $70. Those in mint state 6 to 7 are relatively rare and worth around $350. Anything above that grade haven't been reported by PCGS yet. Most valuable specimen is this MS67 gem, which was sold in 2022 for $1,399.99 on eBay. Over 83 million half dollars exited the Denver Mint in 1973, and they all bore the D Mint mark. PCGS has certified nearly 300 specimens in Mint State 66. Guiding price is around $35. In MS67 conditions, they become scarcer and more valuable, worth over $250. MS68 specimens are extremely rare and worth over $11,000. PCGS has certified just single example in given grade. This is one of the most expensive 1973 Denver struck half dollars. Graded in mid state 67, this problem free superb gem ended up selling for $1080 in 2018 at Heritage Auctions. Starting in 1974, the San Francisco Mint exclusively made proof coins for collectors and archives. The year before, in 1973, they made nearly 3 million 50 cent proofs. Deep Cameo or Ultra Cameo is the top designation for the proofs. This is 1973s 50 cent in PR70 deep cameo condition. Early Kennedy elves with intense cameo contrast are challenging in any grade, but they become rare in theoretically perfect grade of PR70. Competition for these few early Kennedy elf proofs is intense among register set collectors. This is untoned examples with blatant contrast on both sides. I would also like to show you the super valuable mint error of 1973. Kennedy half dollar double struck both strikes of center. Great as PR68 Ultra Cameo by NGC. The color dye was not deployed and the planchette was fed widely of center toward 8 o'clock. The second strike was the west of the first strike. Remnants of the first strike include the three in the date trust and Kennedy's profile.